Uh, hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Your Return to Ties. So, where we last left off, Jin got freaking um, <laughs> poor boy, he, he got poisoned and we have to figure out how to save him, but we also have to deal with the fact that this record right now is probably an AI. Even she doesn't know it. So, ah, uh, yeah. Um, let's just get on with it. Uh, so we were in the middle of this, and I'm not entirely sure what to. I don't know. The real identity of the fake. When are you saying she switched? See, I think. Oh. I'm not sure if I did this last time. God, it's not. Oh. I'm not. Cause I know, like, she was alone when we were in that brief moment when Sarah ran out of the the uh, room of lies, and it took a moment for Reko to come out. Well, quote, quote, Reko. I don't really know how to how to progress from this. Well, see, cause I don't have any items. Uh, hold on guys, I'm gonna look up something. I'm gonna look up a walk there, cause... Um, I think I'm- Okay, so... I think I'm supposed to present a web of happiness to so... Okay. This web of happiness- happiness that broke apart earlier. I got this when I went with Reko into the Room of Lies. That's right. I remember. As soon as I took the web of happiness, the lights went out. What? I heard Reko scream. And when I left the room, I was only holding Reko's glove. For just a short time, Reko was by herself in the room of lies. And the Reko that left the room Still wearing gloves on both hands. That's right. The time she left the room of lies, Reko had already been replaced. Sarah! The lie in the room of lies isn't just the web of happiness. The kidnappers devised it as a trap that would send out a fake to confuse us. 
I get it. Then there is more to that room he, than just putting out a dummy item. Say, Racco, shouldn't you give up soon? Or, you don't mean to deny Miss Sarah, do you? No, Racco, disprove her, please. Aw, oh, Alice. You're wrong. I'm not a fake. Ain't there still a huge ass problem? If you're saying I'm a fake, then who the hell am I really? You're an AI. There's the nine of us here, and even Ranger and Sapphine. If someone took someone else's place, there'd have to be fewer people, right? True. Ranger, please tell us, is there any person on this floor we haven't met yet? Eh? Got no obligation to tell y'all. There is not. No human you haven't met will be making an appearance here. Can't be. Get it now? If nobody could take my place, then there's no goddamn way there's a fake. That can't be right. We were just a step away. It's a doll, it's a doll. But I don't know who this fake really is. Sarah Chiron, cease your doubting. Alice. It's not as if I, I believe her own brother could mistake her either. But. No, wait. Sure enough. Am I... uncertain? Maybe. I've had a huge misunderstanding. Eiji's bewildered too. If their identity is a person Khan and everyone has already met, then... You don't mean... it's one of the victims? Oh god. Ridiculous. But... but... If we worry over this anymore, Jin will... We need to drop the fake! Now... I'm a fake. Sarah could be a fake too, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, didn't she say it earlier? Me and Sarah went in the room of lies together. Only I was replaced with a fake? How can you say that for sure now? I mean... Now, don't give in to our arguments. Sarah, you've chosen Jin over me? Damn it. Damn it! I can't believe this shit! I trusted you! Don't be fooled now. Sarah's trying to trick you so the two of you can push me down. You aren't Reko. You're fake! Don't be absurd. That's the real Reko. Err, uh, um... Now, please! It's riding on you! Uh. Fake is appealing to now to protect herself. In that case, we have to have a fair and square discussion. Reko, let's talk one on one. Sarah, I challenge you. If I'm mistaken, cut me down with the blade of logic. Let's do it, Sarah. I'll open up your clouded eyes. Oh no, Reko. Now I'm going to make you admit that at me, right here, I'm the real Reko. Person here, the fake. Oh god. Siblings are not. I can't imagine he could tell that by intuition. Intuition comes from years and years of experience building up. Can you really deny all the years of my life we've been together? Oh god. Too nervous to read that. That green isn't like the real Reko. God. No, there's a discrepancy between the wound Reko got in her hand and your memory. That's exactly why even Cage is adamant about there being two Rekos. Nothing could be more important. God.
something. Are you saying Ranger's intentionally being silent? Oh god, I'm, I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna... I don't wanna... I'm sorry, I, oh, I got nervous, so I wanted to... I wanted to start with a new safe phone, but if we still... If we still get the right answer, then okay. Why did she say humans? Not human? It's an unthinkable, absurd idea. But something's lodged itself in my head. I am an AI program of Kazumi Mishima. The AIs are basically super detailed reproductions based on y'all, the participants. In fact, they're AIs with hearts, possessing superb emotional capabilities. One of the purposes these dolls are made for is as mental relief. Allow me to show you a wonderful function that will make you feel even closer to this doll. If if you could combine an artificial intelligence with a doll, you could create a completely perfect fate. Huh? Sarah, settle down. Do you know what you're saying? I was, I was always wondering. Why did something like an AI or Professor Mishima even exist? Why were there dolls made to recreate us in such perfect detail? Maybe this facility the kidnappers organization is making doll copies of humans. Ah! You've lost your marbles, Sarah. A doll that looks just like Reko, and an AI that cre re recreates Reko's personality. The result of combining those two things is... An imposter Reko. Are you being serious, Sarah Chidoan? I am. That's how she could fool even her own brother. She's not someone else impersonating her. She's a duplicate. Your claims are an utter mess. Guys, Sarah's lost her cool. We should drop this whole thing. Oh, Keiji? Mm. Even so, I, I mean, he could be faking it. I don't know, man. Everyone. Eyes full of doubt. Despairing looks. Such was the reaction to my shaky conclusion. Me, the one who was entrusted our hopes. No dice. Oh. I wasn't able to persuade everyone. Jin, I couldn't. I can see. Now, that's interesting. Did you think, God, please? Eh? It's a bold idea. The kind of absurd conclusion only you could come to, Sarah. I'll take your word for it. I'm on board with this. Keiji. Mr. Policeman's ever your ally, Sarah. Sheesh, nothing for it. Can't think of any other way to break the devil. Listen, Jin's at his limit. This is the end. We have to decide. Sarah, give us some proof that Rako's a doll with an artificial intelligence. I'll sum it up simply. The Reko who broke Mishima's monitor was real. And in the room of lies, the real and the fake Reko got swapped. So this Reko here is a fake, and you infer she's actually a doll cop. She won't recognize it. It's true, Professor Mishima's AI was perfect. Could imagine it was the real professor there. Her 
perfectly replicate replicating a human is impossible. There absolutely must be a difference somewhere. I'll prove that I'm a human, all right? What do you want? I'll do anything. I was gonna say like, cause she could like cut herself, but I think if I recall correctly, I think Miley also bled like red blood, so I don't think that would work. Uh, why didn't the AI of Mishima have any memory of us, I wonder? Naturally, the personalities of the AIs are based on the real peoples, right? Real humans change in personality and gain memories. The AI should be should need updating too. Ugh. I'm kind of worried I'm running out of time here. When did the kidnappers do updates? I wonder. Come to think of it, Ranger told me. They update memories every six months and personalities every three years. I see. But for memories, he said, they could update in just a day if they wanted. In one day. So she doesn't remember destroying the monitor. Because she got swapped out in the room of lights less than a day after destroying it. Aha. Uh -huh. That would make sense. Still, that alone isn't def definitive enough. Now that third injection's coming up soon. God fuck. Hang in there, Jin. Oh yeah, I got a tip for y'all. The five injections actually have different concentrations. What? The later you get, the more concentrated the venom. That's how he was able to endure the first two. But no. I can say this with certainty. The third one will be at least thief. Lethal dose for that kid. It's your last chance. Good luck. Fuck. No. If this Rekko is a fake, wouldn't she not have memories of us? Just like the machine? Just think of it. Apparently, Ranger did update the Mishima AI with the latest memories. That is, of his death. But he said there was an error, that the machine may have bugged out. I wonder just what happened to him. I don't know, I'm guessing. They erased those memories to fix the error. That makes sense, but then why did he naturally accept his death when he met us? Is it because he was around now? Could be. If you could completely reproduce the original's personality, that's on a whole other level than mimicry. I mean, it's basically cloning. If her brother Alice can't see through it, it'd be downright impossible for us to. For us to. Still, I'm curious. Alice never met Reko after he was arrested and put in prison, right? Normally, if you hadn't any years, even if you were, if you were the same real person, what do you think? You've kind of changed? Yeah, Alice seems pretty confident in his assertion. True. Oh god, I don't want Jin to die. I think my theory, my theory is that the alternate endings involve if Jin dies or not. I really do not want Jin to die. A machine or a doll definitely can do. No, do it with these. I'll open your eyes, Sarah. Understood. Let me make a request. I want to know what you value most. What I value? Can I be honest? Yes. Oh, music. I've tossed aside a lot for it. Cut off people who drag me down. 
My crying and apologizing band members get a taste of my food. It's just how serious I was. The music alone, I have no regrets. She's looking right at me. I can't see her as lying at all. Okay, I need a stop extract. It's also true that the professor and I had only known each other for about four years. It's possible I didn't notice some slight differences from the real world. And it's not just a it's just not thinkable that I wouldn't notice that difference, however slight. Calm down, please. Yes, I've been in prison for two and a half years, and I never had any contact with Greco. When we reunited, I did think she was kinder. It changed a bit. And I realized in these past few days, she hasn't changed. Reko is still Reko. That Reko, a fake? Don't make me laugh. I was completely believe she's real. Fuck, I, I gotta... Gonna... The switch has been pushed. Changing target to first place participant. Gah! Oh my goodness. Sorry, Jin. If I'd pressed it from the first, I wouldn't have to be so scared. Jin, Kitaro. Hang on, you two. I'll get the antidote right away. The impression we were riding on slowly returned to the surface. No, this can't. Stay with us, both of you, please. Jin, I can't die. I got parents, right? Jin! Sarah. Huh? Let's go look for Reko. I can't. I can't leave these two. The policeman. He'll surely bring the antidote. We should do what we have to do. But Jin looks so weak. Even Kitaro. We're going, Sarah. God, this is. I feel like I've gone the bad ending here. And then I was dragged out of the room. Sorry. Ow. Ah, that's... Aren't you late? Welcome to the Room of Lies. This stage is all set. Reko! Who's this chick? Doesn't she look exactly like me? She really... She was really here. Am I, am I seriously a duplicate? Huh? Confessing it that easily? So boring. See, I was thinking of having a quiz. What? Ahaha. Uh -huh. You guys ever heard of doppelgangers? Someone witnessing you somewhere you never went. Or else, you meeting another you. In some countries, that phenomenon is considered an omen of death. As soon as he finished talking, a sound began ringing out. Why did my collar start making that noise? Mine too. 
Ah ha ha, it's begun. Ranger, what's the meaning of this? It's cause they're dog gangers. We don't need to wreck, wreck all Yabu Samus. Only one needs to survive. No! You're kidding, right? This ain't fair. <sighs> I'm gonna tear this thing off. Ah ha ha. I wonder what type of death that collar will give. Can't wait to see. Stop it already, Ranger. You three idiot girls are just so friendly. Well then, I'll let you choose who to save. Oh. Huh? Save whoever you like more. And if you don't pick either, both will die. This is awful. We abandoned Jin to protect the life of the fake Reko, and yet... Putting people's lives on scales again? I've had enough of it. Think you've got something wrong there. Eh? Don't be so self-centered, Serachion. But what I'm saying I'll let choose is... Now, Egokoro, I'm gonna have you pick. Me? Don't be stupid. It's just about choosing the real one, right? Sigh, you're just full of complaints, huh? As a special service, how about you use this? Rangers drop something on the floor. That's... The knife Kai used to commit suicide. A, a knife? It's mine! The right Reko grabbed the knife. Now, pick me if you don't want to suffer! Oh my goodness. What? I'm serious. This ain't just a threat. If I'm gonna die, then not only now, Sarah, I'm taking you with me too. Can't do such a thing. Because you're a copy of Reko. And in this short time, I understood. You can't possibly hurt a friend. So I'm sorry. Reko is my friend too. I need to save her. Stop! I want to save. Left. Oh God. Huh? Ah. Oh God. Reko. Reko. Got the bad ending, guys. <laughs> killed her. I killed her. I won. I survived. Why? Why did the caller stop him? Huh? Well, that's strange. Maybe because now I didn't choose? <laughs> you never intended on letting the fake survive from the start, did you? <laughs> oh, God. Ah, it was the exploding type. Well, simple is best. I got the bad end, guys. What is this? Why is Reko in the state? Wake her up. Now, Sarah, won't you explain? Reko is... What are you trying to say? Ah, uh, couldn't you even come to see her die? Some siblings you are, huh? This can't be... It's inconceivable Rekko would die. You see how much she's bleeding? Come on, you know it. This is the fake Rekko's blood, right? I won't be fooled. Nope, the fake doesn't bleed. Look, collapse over there. The headless Rekko is the fake. No, you won't believe it. Rekko is so much stronger, luckier, and more hateful than me. She's a 
person who li whose life has value. Your one and only sister. She's garbage now. It's just a corpse. Her back. Give Reko back. Haha, <laughs> so scary, Alice. I'll kill you. You're dead. You kill a floor master. All y'all are gonna die, you know. Oh well, seems I'll just have to kill you too. Oh, come on, come on. Huh? Gone? Why? You stepped out of the line, Rio Ranger. Holy shit. I have no more use for you. Dad, why? Oh my goodness. What is going on? Fix me already, Dad. Unfortunately, Rio Ranger, this is farewell. What are you saying? I don't wanna... Do you hate me or something? Wasn't I your greatest masterpiece, Dad? That is in the past. Why do you think you were the most human of the dolls I created? Because you put your affection into me most. Raw, it was jealousy. I implanted your emotion program an excessive sense of inferiority toward and hatred of humans. Humans have it nice. I envy humans. Why am I a doll? What's so great about humans? And so on. That com complex you can never overcome. You burn with deep jealousy and truly qualified as human. This convinced me that it is negative emotions that make a human. That's... Yet, with the burning flames of jealousy to turn one to a monster, that is just as human. You are an impediment to the plan. Failure. Fuck, dude. Well then, I apologize. You had to witness such an unsightliness, everyone. I invite you now again to the main game. This time, card data for the Keymaster, Sacrifice, Siege, and Commoners has been distributed to the tablets you possess. This has been done at random, and I imagine some of you may be dissatisfied with your role. In this case, you may use a trading function to forcibly swap cards with another. However, you must use the me tokens you have earned in order to utilize this function. The trust tokens you have earned up to this point will be essential in deciding the battle. What in the world? Just who are you people? I am the reception doll. No, let us do away with the tedious set dressing. I am Gashu Sato, a researcher into negative emotion. Now, let the main game begin. Fuck. Uh, uh oh. You up? Oh, thought I was gonna die, meow. Sorry, the switch. You pressed it for me, woof. Nah, I hesitated to the last second. It's fine, meow. Yeah. I'm alive, Wolf. Jin. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, meow. Should I go back? Fuck, I think I'm gonna ask a friend. Who is already playing this. Cause, yeah, there's different timelines now. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be a coward. Maybe I should just accept my failure. Oh. Uh... Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna take y'all on a stroll down memory lane. Recap the story so far. Be grateful, you bastard. Sit up straight and listen. 
disguise as Sarah Chido and her best friend Joe Tassina. They are a pair of dweebs who waltz together to the death game, all friendly like. Without having a clue what was what, the first trial began, and they cleared lots more. And they chose to cooperate and survive with all the other participants. But their cooperation was for naught. In high school, teacher Kazumi Mishima died. His ex-student, Naurai Gokoro, went into this hilarious panic over it, see? So the self-described homemaker, Kai Sato, made use of that to instigate her. And she stole back the laptop that Job Hopper, so Hiyori, got his hands on. The laptop concealed proof that Kai was colluding with the organization. When ultimately, Kai died in the main game, all cause he grabbed the Sage card. And Joe too, he got the Sacrifice card, and died. <laughs> Seems hallucinations started to eat away at Sarah. The second stage was the sub game, where everybody traded tokens among themselves. During all that, an AI of the dead Mishima showed up. And so did a fake doll that looked just like Reko. It was one huge calamity. Amid all that, Kutaro Burgerberg discovered that laptop again. He was nearing the heart of the death game, but... Cleared by tokens, he handed the laptop over to So. Man, ain't double cross just the best? Kutaro grabbed the most tokens, and Jin Ibushi didn't collect squat. I was looking forward to one of them dying, but... <coughs> It was Reko Yabusama who died in the end, stabbed by the fake Reko in fact. Man, you guys are seriously stupid. Having feelings when you're killing each other, it only hurt you, you know? What I didn't know is that I'd be killed too. But I, I should have been Dad's masterpiece. Now, everyone, your memories are all in order. Allow me to invite you once again to the main game. Ape Remain. Hey, you know what a majority vote is? One vote. Another foe. Kai. Huh? We didn't know they die? <laughs> hey, long time no see. What's up, so? Well, gotten used to majority votes yet? Shut up. Ahaha, <laughs> are you mad? Well, keep it up and vote for who you hate. Kill decisively so you can survive. Kill the people who get in your way. No big, no big. It's not like it's your fault. Ain't I right, so he already... Oh shit. Huh? Your countenance has really changed. Ahaha. <laughs> Funny. Do your best. What? You need to tear these all off and throw them out. Shit. Oh goodness me. Um. So gloomy. Are we so? Oh shit. You know, I might- I might stick to the consequences of my actions. You know, uh, cause... Um... You know... Okay, this is kinda off topic, but like, I always kinda felt like Undertale Let's Plays were kinda- they always just become like... Uh... Um, like, pacifist or genocide. 
And but some of the neutral endings are pretty interesting. And people kind of miss out on it. Because you know, they're so focused on getting pacifist or or genocide. And I don't know. I feel like I should probably stick with my actions here, but let's see. I need to dispose of all the documents in the shredder. Um, okay, uh... Well, let me actually ask my friend if I should go back. What's up? I'm back, and uh... So I asked my friend, and apparently... Um, this is, this is actually not that bad of a, an alternate route, so, um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going with this, um, oh god, run. I guess so is running. I'm collapsed on the floor. Oh, there's, is this a doll? So, like, going, I don't know. This. I remember. It's Kai's laptop that I found on the first floor. It's gone. It was stolen. I miss now when she... Oh, it's a nightmare, I think. I'm collapse on the floor. I'm dead. I see. That time Miss now attacked me. Every remaining trace. All of it. What? Are you saying now killed so? This is a nightmare? Oh, geez. What's this? Clean the frying pan. So gloomy. Dead men tell no tales, right, Kai? Yo, are there, are there ghosts in this house? Oh, there's nothing, right? I don't, I don't think there's anything. Oh, I guess we're running. How far are you going to run? Run? Me? No one needs you. Why do you live? I'm astonished by everyone just refusing to ever doubt that you're right. Isn't this enough? Sarah. Here, I'll kill you. Sure enough, that's your true nature. It's your turn to die, so... Hello? Sarah! Yo, what the- Yo! Oh, what? Yo! So! Please, wake up! Yo! Hold on, hold on, hold, hold on, what, is this a nightmare? Or is this- Hello? Or- Hana, this is my room. Don't startle me all of a sudden. You're all I have left, so... Please, don't suddenly collapse. Aw. Sorry. Just relax. You're obedient. I'll tell you how to survive. Hey, you know what? Hana. Don't you betray me. Okay. Hey. Don't talk to her like that. Well then, let's start our strategy meeting. You too, Kyutaro. Ayo, what? <laughs> this is getting to be fun. What? Huh? What? <laughs> What's going on? Huh? Hey. Is playing an instrument fun? 
So sorry, man. Like, imagine like oh, it's separated from your own sister for years, and then suddenly, like, you meet her again, and then suddenly, like, she just freaking dies, you know? When even, yeah. Oh man. What? Are you interested, bro? Watching you makes me want to play, Reko. You're too clumsy, bro. Now you even can. So mean. Ahaha, <laughs> don't whine about it. Alright, I'll teach you. You mean it? If you get bored of it, I'll kick your butt. <laughs> of course I won't get bored. <laughs> hey, Reko? Haha, <laughs> what's up? Someday. Let's make a band and have our debut. For real? I'll make songs and you'll sing them. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Haha. <laughs> Sounds great. Don't forget it, bro. Oh. Don't you ever forget. Oh, I should couldn't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 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 Man... I'm sticking with this route though. Echo, you really were kind. Such a good kid. You know, you lost your girlfriend, man. I'm sorry. Alice lost someone precious to him. Just like Nao lost her teacher. Just like Kana lost her sister. Just like I lost my best friend. Echo. She was a trustworthy ally to, ally to me too. It's painful. It's sad. But. But. You can't just stay here forever. Alice, now. Sarah Stone. You're in the way. Gone. I know how you feel. The main game's going to start again. Oh, Alice. I'm giving you an explanation. Please come to the medical office. You sure are kind. Huh? It shouldn't matter to you if anything unfavorable happens to us. In the main game. Everyone is an enemy. Again, at least two people will die. It might be you and me next. It may be true. But I don't think giving up on living and thinking is the right thing to do. If we diligently think about it, I'm sure... I'm sure there's a path. A path. Long since passed up such a thing. Even so, I stubbornly lived on. Because I thought someday my parents, or Rako, would repay me. There's no such path anymore. Let's go, Alice. No? Hey now, now I go Egokoro, what are you? Now remove the gloves from Mirko's body. I need to deliver this. There's surely someone else waiting. Who treasures Mirko as much as us. Now. Alice, please. You take one of these two. Alice accepted one of the gloves. I'm going. I need to move forward. Forward. Sarah Chidori, I will tell you this. The name of the man I killed is So Hiori. Huh? I don't care about So Hiori at this point. What I really need to kill is. 
palace. Those were eyes of revenge. Revenge against our enemy who plotted the death game. Anger and hate. Those made the only path that would move Alice now. And who's then what path will I choose? That's obvious. I won't let anyone else die. The main game. I won't let it happen. You? You can't save anybody, Sarah. I'm not going to lose. Oh, Jesus Christ. The torso of real Ranger. Because of Ranger, Reko and the fake Reko both. Reko lies in the center of the room of lies. Tons of blood is pouring from her chest. The head of Rio Ranger. He was a doll, just like the fake Reko. Joe's hair clip remains in his hair. Wait, but I'm pretty sure Miley bled. Does that mean Miley boy isn't a doll? Like, oh my goodness. Joe's hair clip remains in his hair. Give it back. This is Joe's. Taking Joe's hair clip. I don't think I'll go back because it's a bit long to see the other end, but I'll see. Maybe I might do a reaction or something. You were just there. Aww. I'll go to the medical office. Everyone should be waiting there. and Connor are whispering in the corner. Not the kind of thing I can barge into. Chitara was ch chatting happily with Jin and Katie. Oh, he's got his hair. His, hair, his hand on his head. It's hard to imagine the main game is approaching. Thanks to Sarah! Jin, you're up and moving already? Yeah, I'm totally better. Well, poison won't scare me anymore, meow. The antidote KG brought's working like a charm. Don't feel no weird after effects, neither. Good showing from your friendly policeman, eh? It really was a close call. If KG hadn't found the antidote, both of them might have. KG. Thank you very much. It's about the only thing I could do. Mostly it came down to Kitaro putting his life on the line. You're really something, you know. Nah. Couldn't do hardly anything, we were told. And we lost two records. Human or doll, it don't matter. Both of them were our allies and... What do you mean, ally? Oh, Alice. Alice! All of you really are stupid. All the kidnappers are planning here is for us to kill each other. We let someone live and kill someone else. That's all it is. Oh. So why would you help each other? I try to be kind. Reko was the same. If she thought only for herself a little more. Maybe she wouldn't have had to die like that. Alice. Don't forget about Rekka. She was lonesome, despite how he looked. No. Of course we won't forget. Can't. <laughs> Maybe there's something wrong with me too. Even though you and I are soon going to be killing each other. So, all of you have assembled. Why did I notice this dude? I will now begin exp explanations for the second main game. Mr. Jin Ibushi, who are you fairy? There he is, meow, Uncle Crabstash. Uncle Crabstash? You think we're just gonna sit here and listen to your damn explanations? You guys are always pulling tricks. I don't trust you, Wolf. Hmm. What the heck? 
Jack Wolf. Don't come any closer, Meow. Fantastic. Yeah. Just amazing, Mr. Junior Bushi. Astonishing resilience. Why, you're the picture of health already. And Uncle Crabstash. It's an honor to receive such a charming nickname. But screwing with us now? Mr. Kutal Berber, you're healthy as well. My word, the stamina of a first class baseball player is truly something else. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. I, I feel sick, y'all. Oh dear, so there is yet some venom. It's not that wolf. Um, what are you getting to the explanation? Pardon me. Well then, I shall explain this main game. That said, the basic rules are the same. It is a voting game making use of four cards. Keymaster, Sage, Sacrifice, and Commoner. The Keymaster is the keyman of destruction. Should they be chosen, the one who carries it bears great responsibility but it also serves as armor. The sage is a superhuman who knows the one in possession of the Keymaster rule. But once exposed, it is hard to protect oneself. The sacrifice will die unless chosen. They are the sole person who can turn defeat into victory, or victory into defeat. And the commoners have no power at all. But thus they fill the role of guiding the discussion into the, in the proper direction. However, this time we will use data in place of paper cards. Data? Card data has already been distributed at random to the voting tablets you possess. All that remains is the permission to access it. Why did you have to make so roundabout? Very sharp indeed, Mr. Kutaro. Because this time, we are able to make trades. And forcibly at that. We can trade our cards. Indeed. Now let, now then, let me show you. Come forth, ring up box. A phone booth came from the floor. You may trade cards by making a request at one of these ring up boxes situated in each room. They are simple to use. Simply insert 50 tokens and grab the receiver. 50 tokens? Of course, just like the sub game, you cannot use your own sub tokens. What a ridiculous rule. Oh, I thought you would be delighted, Mr. Guitar. It's an awful rule. People without tokens don't even get the right to trade. Trades are one-on-one -on -one with who you select. Please trade freely with whomever you wish. You have a time limit of approximately three hours. When all have returned to their bedrooms, that will signal the start of this trading phase. Do not wear such gloomy looks, everyone. And then survive, where you were all born to win. What is he talking about? So then, please return to your rooms within 5 minutes. If you do not, you understand, don't you? I hate it when he tilts his head like that, it's so freaky. <laughs> the atmosphere is unpleasant. We look at each other's faces and try to judge how we're feeling. Should I say... I don't want to give false hope. For now, let's go back to our room. Yeah. And after that, we'll definitely find a way to escape. I won't let them have their way. And I'll head back first. I don't want to get killed for being tardy. Let's get going, guys. Oh boy. Everyone's heading off to their bedrooms. Um.
Oh my god, closes. Glancing at each other's faces and seeing looks of anxiety mixed with trust. Makes it Sarah. Hmm? Huh? What is it, Jen? I hate it because the suspicious loner was there. But I might have found a way out, Wolf. Huh? I don't want to trouble you guys anymore, Meow. So I'll do my best, Wolf. Ah, Jim. I feel so uneasy. Is everything going to be okay? Kid, we just saved you. Please don't do anything reckless. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Jen. Please. Can't lose. Another. Yeah. A ring of boxes appeared in the back of my room. It's quiet. Here in my room, I'm all alone. Huh? My hands are shaking. This... Back there, I tried to cheer everyone up so they wouldn't be uneasy. I told myself I couldn't give in around them. But when I'm alone, I'm so cowardly. No, no. I can't get timid. What? Suddenly, the tablet came making a sound. What does this sound mean? It's begun? Oh no. The trading phase of the main game will now begin. Now accessing your roll card. My roll. A fateful moment. My heartbeat is loud and out of control. Subconsciously, so I was praying. Do it. Anything but the one that killed Joe. Commoner, I see. <sighs> Before I knew it, I dropped to the floor. Oh god. Someone might, like, trade it with us, though. Relief. I stayed there motionless for a few minutes. Thank god. Hey, Sarah. You okay? You on guard? Your friendly policeman just wants to come in and chat. How about it? It's Keiji. I open the door and invite him in. Oh. Invite him in. I'll open it now. Thanks. What exactly do you want? I'll get straight to the point, Sarah. Sarah, you're... a sacrifice, right? Huh? What? <laughs> That's one obvious reaction, Sarah. Shoot, I made a weird sound. Ah, uh, thank goodness. If you really were the sacrifice, I'd have been pretty worried. I haven't confirmed a thing yet. You make it obvious, but you won't confess. Sure enough, you're clever. But you're still a bad liar, huh? Err. Phew. Well, I'm the key master. Not gonna trust me with my word, though, are you? Excuse me for a second. Huh? KG slipped by me into the phone booth. What are you doing? Presenting proof, I guess? KG went out inserting token after token. Ahoy hoy. Don't tell me. Shoot. Let's have it again. Oh, shoot. My role changed. The first trade has just been performed. A trade? Huh, so you are a commoner. Did you just trade? Your key master for my calmer? That proves it to you, right? Your friendly policeman's the key ma- What were you thinking? Uh... That was a valuable chance for a trade. Why did you go and waste it on this? Huh, you're mad at me? I'm not mad. 
Just wanted you to trust me. We've only got three hours. No time to waste suspecting each other over long. Because we're going to make our escape. I understand. You must have an idea. Tell it to me. Right. Jeez, Christ, KG. Say, Sarah, what sorts of methods could we escape by, you think? Methods? I don't think an exit's gonna happen. Defeat our enemy and leave. Let's defeat the kidnappers and return home gloriously out the front door. Oh, so courageous. They might have weapons yet. Still, maybe Kutaro could... You're making me feel bad for Kutaro, sir. Sure enough, the thing we need is information. Where is this place? What sort of building is it? We just had a floor map, at least. We have half a chance. Floor map? Who among us would know something like that? Huh? Wait, is there someone... Kai would? Kai, of course. Exactly! Way to go, Sarah. Kai was connected with the baddies. Even if he didn't know the details of the death game, he might have known something about this facility. Kai's gone now. So then, the laptop he left behind? Yep, there's still info we haven't checked on that laptop. Kutar got his hands on it once, but he ran out of battery. And now it's back in So's hands. It'll be hard to get back. And that brings us to... You remember the place you found it? That room full of rubble? Well, I did a little detective in there. You got a sex era? What is it? Keiji whispered in my ear. The 16th student. <laughs> Mikuro Ikusan. <laughs> I'm sorry. Kai came to that room. What? Now let's move. There's no time. Hold on, KG. I was in that room? I mean... Uh, before we even came to that third floor, Kai was already... Let's go, I guess. Hey, no. Is that now? Sarah, what's the matter? Oh, I just figured I shouldn't be sitting still. I thought I should be thinking about a way for us to escape, too. I'll tell you right away if I find anything, Sarah. Strange. Huh? Maybe I'll lend you my aid, Sarah. Your aid? You can now use Casey's partner ability. My detective site should be at least a little useful. Yo, what? What's me? I'll tell you right away if I find anything, Sarah. Hey, yo, what? Um, is something wrong? Nah, it's nothing. Or I'll be going then. What was that sensation? Hmm? Did you just see something too, Sarah? Huh? Oh, haha, you had the same eyes as me. The eyes of a shrewd detective who never overlooks the heart's unrest. You sense something shady about now. Must be the result of spending days with her. I mean, now is hiding something? You know, unfortunately, we don't exactly have time to confirm that right now. Let's do what we have to. There's only ever one option to take. Now. So the room of rubble is past the room corridor. Let's go. Okay. Chitara sings silently. Now, what am I gonna do? Feels like he's breathing a little easy. Chitara, what are you going to do now? Oh, Sarah, 
I was thinking, this is exactly the sort of time to let leisurely think about clues for escape. When I'm having a humdinger of a time on account of fine diddly squat. Um, hmm. See, I haven't found anything. Well, but I guess there's one thing. Kai's laptop is pretty much all I got. Would be nice to persuade so, but he ain't leaving his room. And Khan is with them too. Hope you don't use her for nothing evil. I sense impatience from Kutaro. Maybe the reasons he's not entirely a wit's end is because he's got lots of tokens. That's true. Guess it's just. That's interesting. Sorry, you may not use the prize exchange anymore. I'm cleaning up the prizes, so apologies if it gets dusty. I'm curious if we could have if we could have actually bought anything. <laughs> Can't tell anything about Gashu's heart. Since I've hardly even talked to him. The time you spent together is important for this. Let's see. Interesting. He's one of my faves right now. Alice is gazing toward the room lies. Need something? Uh There's no point asking me. What are you doing here? Nothing. My feet just naturally came here. I won't go any further than this. More importantly, Sarah Chidoin. Now went into the room of lies around me. Huh? She said pretty things around me, but her wounds may be deep after all. No, I think so. Like she lost Press Mishima and now Rakun. Check on her if you have the time. I don't want to return there anymore. I did go back, I surely also. Aw, oh, that was feel quiet anger from Alice. That's no good. Feels like he's up to something. He is thinking about revenge. Aww. Now we're staring directly at Rako's body. She doesn't seem to notice us at all. Sure enough, she's acting strange. Sarah, not right now. Arr. I sense pressing emotions from now. There's no time right now, Sarah. Oh, uh, I guess so. Sarah, hi! Huh? Looks like we're not alone. That's Jin! I can hear rummaging sounds in the pitch dark room. That's... Jin? Let's see what happens. Right. Jin is timidly messing with the machine. This is it, Meow! Ayo! Yo! Jin! Passage appeared. See, I can... Oh fuck. Not good, he's going in alone. Let's tell him. Let's tell him. Why did you know about this room? If he had just happened to find it, that's fine, but... We actually knew something. First to suspect the kid, huh? Oh, I don't, I don't suspect him, but... Ayo. Hey, you prepared? Yeah, okay, let's freaking go. 
Okie dokie, but promise me one thing. On the off chance there's something dangerous waiting up ahead. You'll be able to run away even if it's on your own, won't you? Yes, and you too, Katie. Wahaha, <laughs> roger that. No. Passage is lit by dim light. It gently slopes downward. The further we advance, the steeper the slope gets. Don't want to slip. Yeah. Jen, how far did you go? Hmm? It's a dead end. Ah! Eiji, isn't this... It's a hole like the trash chute in the floor. Jen must be through here. Let's drop down. Yo. Is that the kitchen? What room is this? Huh? It seems somewhat familiar. The freaking kitchen! Yo, what? Well now, I remember coming here. I remember right. This is the first floor kitchen. The place where now is hiding out and holding Professor Machine's head. Oh yeah, cause in the first the first chapter, Kai somehow got into the room with now, even though it was locked. It's pitch black. Is now sitting in the dark like this too? All alone, talking to Mishima's head. Now is despairing, and Kai used that despair to take the laptop from So. Amazing how she could recover from that. We're all getting stronger bit by bit. Yeah, but at the same time... No, forget it. Hold on a second. No one noticed this secret passage. I wonder if Kai noticed this secret passage. Yeah, that's the feeling I'm getting. Huh? Whether he knew it from the start or only noticed while searching, I don't know. But I'm thinking that's the fundamental reason the laptop ended up in the room of rubble. Kai came to the third floor and placed the laptop there. He's right. It's possible. Wahaha, <laughs> that's convinced me personally. Alright, let's go look for Jin. That's the trash. I think it would connect to here. Jin? You... You good, buddy? The store, was it always locked? No. Taking a closer look at the doorknob, I found a dial lock on the side. Looks like you have to set it to a number from 1 to 9. Eiji, please bust down the door with your brute strength like usual. Eh, don't think that's in my wheelhouse. These arms are for protecting people, see? Sure enough, I should consider how to solve this. I wonder if there's a hit anywhere. Ah. There's small writing on the doorknob. Input the number of kiddos who can't drink. Huh, is this our hit? It's a little sarcastic. Speaking of drinking, wasn't there a bar in the first floor? Yeah. Oh wait, whoops. Uh. Hey, oh, it's been a while. I ain't clicking on- I don't have to click on that, right? It appears to be a blackboard. There's a list of names. A number of kiddos who can't drink or who can. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Could these be the names of all the participants in the Death King? Oh, now that I think about it, this could be pretty important info. Might want to commit it to memory. Yeah. But there are people waiting for him to come back. Right, this isn't just our tragedy. Well, at any rate, we should be able to open the pink room door with it. Then all of Jin's there, but wanna go check? What? To me, I ain't clicking on Hey, 
Hey, yo. Hey, what's this? Something on the floor in the painting. Victim disc E? Yo, I probably should have been doing this earlier. Oh, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. Hopefully I didn't miss too much. Uh, no, I'm just here. Um... And faintly make out some erased words. Oh, this is the room where so was in the beginning of this. Abandon yourself. Yo, what? Oh. There, there are little holes in the holes. It might pop out poison needles. I can't get this wrong. Sure, there's a hint somewhere in this room. You should know it's up before you try. I was hoping the first time. Yeah, there are nine who can drink. Good job. Feels like you're gonna give me a doggy treat. This is well, let's Okay, let's input it. What if you can die here? Oh nine. The handle turns with a click and the door opens. Looks like that was right. Way to go, Sarah. Now we can enter the pink room. I'm saying. Here is stuff. A heart shake vent. Door is open. It's big enough for a person to fit into. Hmm. It's pitch black through here. It might lead somewhere else entirely. What should I do? Even knowing the dangers, eh? Let's go. Oh, is that Miley? Never seen this room before. Watch your step. There's something here. It's almost like a person. Person? Just as KG reach out his hand. Huh? The lights! This is mild. KG, get away! No. Not alive, is it? Huh? What does he mean? It's just a power stall. Not moving an inch. Mean. Did Miley run out of power and stop moving? No, I don't mean that. This is the Miley we first met. First? After the eleven of us came together. Our first mission was to search for the scattered parts of Miley's body, wasn't it? Come to think of it, we searched for the parts, then assembled her. And after a white gas filled the room, Miley suddenly started to move. A white gas? That's right. The room that filled this gas is connected to this room by the ventilation. That's when the human Miley swapped herself in. Oh, so the real Miley is separate from this doll. If you retrace your memory, you should realize it. Dolls don't bleed. Ranger, the doll proved this fact with his body. And... Yeah, that's what I was saying. Marley bled when Kai attacked her. All starting to line up, isn't it? Bet this room still hides some interesting truths. Let's keep searching. I wonder if Miley's still on this floor somewhere. This 
some video playing. Hey, help me, please. It's... I didn't know. I didn't know anything. You're listening there, aren't you? Help me. What's going on over there? Can you hear us? Hey, so say something back. I won't tell anyone. I promise. Is this a video recording? Why? Why is all this necessary? I thought I was decided. She... She? Got no qualms. I just want to live in peace. Oh... Don't tell me. Were we all gathered for her sake? Sarah Chidon. Oh god. What? Damn you. Kill you. Oh, you organization members. This is Sarah Chidon. I'll curse your name from hell. Don't look, Sarah. Oh, god. No. This is probably a footage of some of a person who died in the first trial. Um, I... I have no idea what's going on. This, this video... But he said your name. I don't know why. Sarah... We might just have an intimate connection to this death thing. No way. But I really... It's no use. The more I say, the more suspicious I look. So what am I? Please believe me, Katie. How amusing. Um, are you going to be our goddess of victory or our angel of death? Doesn't sound too bad to build my life on that. Your life? Hmm? That's been my plan for a while now. Can I trust my life to you, Sarah? That's a heavy burden for me. Too bad. What if... What if I am an angel of death? Let's see now. Would you die along with me? I don't intend to die. That's a good answer. Okay, let's search around a little more. Alright. Trust. I've always been a bit suspicious of him. Keiji never wants to talk about himself. Ex-detective. There must be a past he can't talk about. A truth he can't say. Even so, Keiji bet on me. And I... Bet on Keiji? I... Oh, man. Oh, man. Sarah's dad is definitely one of the organization members, I feel. But why, though? Machine parts are scattered about. Huh, I feel like these are similar materials to her collars. It looks like a refrigerator. Won't open. The Molly doll is sitting down. Computer tower. Better make sure not to kick it. Behind the thick glass, I can see a figure that appears to be sleeping. Keiji, there's a person. Hmm. Doesn't show any signs of moving. Do they not notice us? Can't imagine it's a survivor at this point. They're an enemy. Let's hope they don't notice us. But now, it doesn't seem there's any way we can get to the other side anyway. Let's sleep quietly while we're done searching. Why the lights on? Come on. Mm. Is it just gonna be the same? Your computer disk in this drawer. He's not really sure. Hmm? This one has a label on it. Oh jeez. Security camera? Well now, we might have been getting filmed. You don't mean the whole time. 
is that so strange? There's too many of us for just the floor masters, masters to watch over. When you think about it, maybe so, but... Can we look at the footage? That's curious, eh? Yes. You can probably view the footage on that computer. Shit. Um, put in the disc to the computer. I'll put in the disc from the drawer. The computer began loading the video. This is when we were first met up. Sure enough, we were being observed. Huh? This video doesn't have sound. Ah. Aw. Joe. Sarah. Sarah? Ah, uh, okay. What? What is it? This video is pretty long. We should probably skip to the important part. Right. Are you prepared? Huh? You could see things you don't like. The other sides of your ally. That's true. What if some distrustful act got recorded? EG is so su suspecting that there might be a traitor. I'm prepared. Okie dokie. Let's watch the let's watch the rest, shall we? KG began to play the rest of the video. Our actions up to this point played back. Our recording from when we we're all still alive. We skipped through checking for anything suspect. And Sarah. It's okay, keep going. You sure are strong. Hmm? Central Hall. Someone placed a card that looked like Yutaro. It's one of the first the roll cards used in the first main game. Who just placed it? Yutaro? Hey yo. And now someone picked it up. Oh, it's up. So here, that's some unexpected footage. To think Yutaro is the one who set the roll cards in place. Hold on a second. We had a discussion like this before, remember? The one who set the card should have been so. So executed a strategy in the bar so he could use Kana. He placed a sacrifice card he had. Had Kana pick it up and traded her a commoner card put her in his depth, and then so had Joe pick up that sacrifice card. All of it was a trap laid by So, I thought. But for one while you can see in the video, it's Kyutaro who placed the cards first. So just saw him and adopted it, that's all. No way. Well, there's not much video left. While I'm trying to swing my head out, I push play. Sure enough, Kyutaro was shown again and again, secretly placing cards. And so picked up a few of those cards, and indeed made a trade with Kana. It was all true. Some mystery solved. Some mis some mystery solved. Others added. Keeping my hazy feelings in check, I let the remaining bit of video play. Huh? Were Joe and Kai talking about something? Such enigmatic faces. Just what were those two talking one on one about? Joe never told me about anything like this. Oh, if we could just hear their voices. Hmm, that's everything of note in the footage. Sure, it took up some time. We should leave, leave here soon. You hold on to this disc, Sarah. Okay. We made some findings. Now we search for Jen and work toward escape.
you, Taro. What's up with you, man? You got it, got it, got it. Any Yo! That was... Jin? Where did that voice come from? No good, can't hear anymore. Jin! The situation's changed. Even safety-wise, we should probably head back for now. No, oh, you want us to abandon Jin? Refuse to give up. No KG. You're right. Let's look around, Sarah. No more losing anybody. Hey. Hey, yo. Why is Jin always in freaking trouble? Come on. There's something on the table. Key? It wasn't like here before, was it? Maybe I shouldn't go touching it. Not good. Someone's, some, someone's coming from the central hall. Huh? Let's go back to the kitchen and hide. Hiroki! They're close. It's quiet. I don't know who you are, but don't notice us. The footsteps stop near the door. I see two. Hey, there's the bitch. One of them is mine? I can hear them talking quietly. Did you let them escape? I apologize. The key that was here is... Gone? Sai, so seriously, give it up. Is Jen safe? Who could the other person be? So? Listen, don't let Gashu have his way. He's trying to destroy the death game. What? I understand. The monitor room should have surveillance mode, correct? Connect the blue wire. Keep a careful eye on Gashu. Why do you know about- And one more thing. You must retrieve the chip in Ranger's head. That chip can destroy this place's security. It's a menace. Destroy the security? Please be quiet, or someone heard you. <laughs> the things would get quite fun, I suppose. Oh, and... What? The tablet! This is not the time! Who's there? We have to run. No, Chen. Yeah, that was a close call. But Jin is still... Didn't look like those two had captured him, at least. Let's think about what we can do. What can we do? What we can do... Our priority should be to check our roles. An annoying noise early signal a trade. Alright, so much cars must have gone through. Let's have to look. The second tree was performed four minutes ago. I'm still the key master. And I'm still calmer. So it's between people other than us. Glad I didn't add any extra complications. Okay, now that about that conversation we overheard. Those two mentioned some very interesting things. Yep, something about a chip in Ranger's head. Plus the surveillance mode in the monitor room. I don't know what sort of functionality it has. But if we could watch the security cameras on all the floors... Silence loads better than sneaking back onto the first floor and getting caught. Let's go! Hey, yo! Wait, hold on. I got him over the news for getting protective mode.
But hold on. I didn't. Okay. Head of Green Ranger. Be that bad if the ship got damaged. How should we extract it? Hmm, we'd like to take the head for inspection. If we got caught, we'd tip them off for sure. I'm worried for Jin. Let's go to the monitor room and check the surveillance system first. I was facing out. What's wrong now? I don't know time. Okay, I guess. I guess there was something we could do with the monitor right now. Please handle this, KG. Can't refuse a request from you, Sarah. KG connected a blue wire on the floor to the computer. Bingo! This is the surveillance system. Is Jen on any of these? Hey, yo, I can't. Something's odd about this bedroom. Huh? What? What's going on? That's the machine in the air. <sighs> I made it back. Now? Is this really for the pests? Indeed. Well done, Miss Mel. I'm glad your safety was ensured. What? What? Yo! Professor, what should I do? Believe in me, Miss Now. For I was miraculously revived so that I could protect you. Do is that just as I say, yes? I don't trust that. Right. Now put on a smile. I'd like to see you cheery, Miss Now. Yes! Fantastic. What a good student I have indeed. Come on. This isn't good. Ishi. Just what is that Professor Mishima? Hmm, he said he revived, but he was always just an AI that Riker destroyed here. It's a tricky subject, huh? AIs are entities of pure data, so if our enemy's up to it, maybe they're free to revive him and copy him as they like. What's the, what's death to meet you and me in that case? Oh wait, scarier thing is. They might also be able to remake their personalities however it suits them, don't you think? Only now's room having a monitor in it is pretty suspect too. Maybe the floor master is plotting something. Oh wait. Now. Someone is standing in front of the bedroom. That's Kutaro? Is he talking with the owner of the room? He checked all the monitors, but Jin was nowhere to be found. This surveillance system is only for floor 3. Sure enough, Jin's still on floor 1. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Huh? Gash you, I'll shut up the security system. Yeah. Dear, just what are you two up to? Hmm? Sure are nosy. We're having a moment here. Oh my, pardon me then. Why are you here though? Tell me something. Are there AIs in all these monitors? You are precisely right. Here are assembled AIs of all candidates who cleared the first trial. Hmm. Gotcha, you can go. We're gonna take the next step. Yes, I shall leave you to it. Now what to do? I know, we should collect Ranger's chip while we still can. You okay with not going after Jin? Of course I'm worried, but Jin isn't just a child anymore. 
I'm sure he'll escape and return to us. Uh-oh. When he does, we should have an escape plan worked out to surprise him. With. Maybe that's what believing is. Let's go to the room of lies. Oh god, I hope... I hope that was okay. I just... I don't want Jin to die. I don't want to get her. Hello? It is certainly within your options to spend some time together, you two. You do whatever you say. Whatever you say. Oops. Oh, long stairs. Ah, where are you two headed? Er, just felt like telling some lies to the room of lies. Ah, you can't. Right now, it's you're not allowed in. Hold on, Saffron. Can you just decide that? Well, you see, we can't leave the bodies there any longer. We need to hold a memorial service. No buts about it. Let's leave for me, Sarah. Understood. This okay. Yeah. But oh shoot! Kill you. What? Ayo! Whatever you doing? Shut up. Good. Alice has lost himself in rage. What's going into you, Alice? He doesn't have a gun right now. I've been waiting for this moment. What's all the commotion? A Alice! Oof. Please cease this. <laughs> you make me laugh. So even you value your life. You have it wrong. I must protect all of your lives. Huh? Is you murderous one after another? Don't screw with me. Now tell me where the exit is, or else there, there is no exit. Be serious with me. Then how are you gonna leave when it's all over? Alice reached his hand toward Dash's neck. Oh shoot, does he also have a collar? Huh? What is that? Please, enough of these games. <laughs> Do you understand? Even we cannot leave this place. Not until it is all over. Collar and the floor masters are. What in the world? What do you want that would make you do this? It is all for a mission. The mission of everyone here. Hey, why do you sound like we're part of this? Uh oh. Now, I will excuse myself. Please continue to spend your time for the making well. So as to leave no regret regrets. No exit? Possible. You giving up? Me giving up is inconceivable. Haha, <laughs> good on you, Miss Sarah. That's our dependable leader. So, speaking of which, I've got something important to talk about with you and Keiji. Important? <sighs> this is important, will you listen? Thanks, Miss Sarah. So, on to business. Or, um, I want to reconcile. Reconcile? What do you mean by that? I don't understand. Huh? We've quarreled a bunch, haven't we? But I realize, you know, it can't go on like this. I mean, our real enemy is the kidnappers, right? Yeah. That's true. I want us. I want to put an end to this ridiculous death thing. I want us to escape. And of course, I mean all of us. What a moving speech. Serious, KG. So how about we all share this laptop? It's my bad for for taking it from you, but in the end, I couldn't see what was on it because the password had been changed. So that's how it is, if I can, if I can trust you. That explains why you suddenly feel like showing up with us, you know the password. Huh? 
Huh? You know the password? <sighs> Enough with the bargaining. There isn't time. We have the password, so I the laptop. Reconciling me means we share. I really do just want to reconcile, though. Well, whatever. Okay, as a proof of rebuilt friendship. Let's shake hands, Miss Sarah. Well, I mean, sure. Okay. Hey, yo. What was that? You, Kana, you make good with Miss Sarah, too. Kana. First, I'll shake hands with you, Kana. Come on, give me a hand. I gently grab Kana's little hand. Kana, I trade you again and again. Stop it, Kana. We're friends. Sarah. And me? Here you go. You, huh? Well, thanks. Oh yeah, hey, Alice. Yeah? That's perfect. You come over here too. Well, alright. Okay then, I'm turning it on. Probably should look at so first with the, the detective thing. <laughs> so this is what's on that e-print rascal's laptop. If there are any clues we can use to escape in here. Trash Clifford's A file named Sarah's Taste. Did Kai make this file himself? Miss Sarah's favorite thing, suits edition. Strawberry jam, jam in general, mashed sweet potatoes with chestnuts, ocean toast. He's right on the money. Nothing but paste, huh? Paste notes. Miss Sarah eats well with a balanced diet. She especially likes sweet things. I'm happy to understand her just one bit more. It goes on and on like this. So, uh, Kai was Sarah's stalker? Now that I think about it, there was always there always was something paste like at the dinner table. No. A folder named Sarah. Locked with a password. I open it. Backdoor dot smut. <laughs> oh no. Hey, quit with that. I'm not exactly excited myself, but... Well, it's not an image file, right? Huh? I nervously put the file. Inside, there were long strings of text and symbols I couldn't make any sense of. Can't make heads or tails of this. Of it. Hard to believe Kai was into this. Is this a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Some kind of programming thingy? Can't decipher this sort of thing. Oh shoot, a falling order eight. Kai, good work gap guarding the Chidoan family. It seems that Chidoans have been looking for assistance as of late. This is good timing. Kai, get them to employ you and slip into their midst. Oh, short haired Kai. The organization has prepared the necessary documents. You're all kept in this file. It's a forged resume. I guess only the photo is the real Kai, but it seems to be pretty old. I knew we had an assistant when I was a kid, but it was only while I was at school, so I never saw them around. Was Kai really there in my house? Seems so. File named Order 59. Kai, the Death Game Project is finally taking on tinges of reality. At last, your time has come to be useful to the organization. Guard Sarah Chido until the planned day and ensure she remains healthy. And as much as possible, keep an eye out for her close friends Joe Tatsuna, Tatsuna and Ryoko Hirose. Can't add anyone else. Shoot. Understood? Fulfill your duty, Kai. Even Joe and my best friend Ryoko are mentioned here. The file men contains investigative reports on and photos of Joe and Ryoko. Don't tell me. Is a plan for Ryoko to get involved too? A file name to Miss Sarah. Hello, Miss Sarah. I am Kai. I am truly sorry you had to get involved in such an incident as this. 
This was written during the death game. Sarah, if you are reading this, there's something I want to tell you. I, Kaisato, was an agent belonging to a certain vile organization. In addition, I was raised as an assassin. Assassin? However, I could not carry out the assassination orders I was issued in my youth. I could not kill another human, human being. My father is disappointed in me. My standing in the organization was low. Then one day, I was appointed to a certain task. It was to guard and care for you from the shadows. I say this, but it was not a task I held in high regard at first. Not until the plans for the death game were beginning to approach a reality. I myself do not know the death game's objective. However, while this is merely my impression, Miss Sarah, it is possible that this is all revolving around you. Of course, I, also, I do also believe that you are merely a victim, Miss Sarah. You are so nonsense. Still, the organization needs you, and they will take any means necessary. The organization's name is Asunado. It is a secret organization possessing superb technology in a multitude of fields. Asunado? You startled me, what's the matter? That's the same name as the orphanage I'm from. Yo! Settle down, let's keep reading. This death game is not for pleasure nor revenge. To the organization, it is an in inevitable mission. That is what my father believed. His father? The organization drove my father mad. There may come a time you must confront him. At that time, Please defeat my father, Gashu. Yo, that mustache looking. Um, yo. Oh. My goodness, Gashu. I have collected all the data I've researched in the Sarah folder. If I am already dead, please make use of it. The password is your mother's name. I hope it can be of some use. I pray you will not be swallowed up by the whirlpool of deception and slaughter. Please survive, even if it must be you alone. The message ends here. Kai, we're all working together now. Hey, so, don't you think this clears Sarah's suspicion? Huh? Why aren't you on about that? Saying Sarah, Kai, and Joe are the masterminds working together? Well, that was just a little tit for tat. It wasn't exactly calm at the time. Sorry, Miss Sarah. I'm glad we could reconcile. I feel like so. I feel like so is a good person. But he obviously is dealing with some trust issues. A folder named Sarah. Fuck the password. Password is mother's name. I slowly typed in my mother's name. It opened. I followed him with personal things. Hello, this is Kai. Apologies, but this message has absolutely nothing to do with the death game. Sarah, I wish to express my personal gratitude as Kai Sato. I owe a great deal to the Chidoan family. My father hired me as an assistant to help out with this job and housework. Of course, this was also a job for the organization, to keep watch of you. I felt, at first I felt disgusted with your father, treating me as if I was family. I was trained as an agent from a young age. I had never experienced anything such as affection. I was afraid, afraid that I might be changing. But over time, I came to want to protect your family. I wish to see you grow to maturity with your own eyes. For the first time, I had a reason to live. I'm truly glad I can meet the children. Thank you very much, Miss Sarah.
Hi. File name's important. Background check file. Hello, this is Kai. I was able to use an old ID to successfully access a very small section of the organization's database. There, I discovered data pertaining to participants in the death game. Unfortunately, data on most of the participants are protected in such a way I could not extract it. There was one man in particular for, who, for which that protection was removed. It appears his file was at one time deleted, but for some reason or another it was restored. Yo, this looks like so. Scarf and everything. Who could this be? Oh shoot. This guy's. What's the matter? What? Everyone's acting strange. Do they all know this person? Oh, it's a scar. Oh. Ugh. Sorry, I, I gotta use the toilet. I don't even know his name. However, there is only one reason the organization would delete a file on someone, namely death. If he passed away before the death came, and his file was then restored, perhaps that means he was revived. I've met this guy somewhere. Thing is, I can't remember nothing. You too, Kutara? Anna thinks she must have met him, but she can't remember anything. Oh, I remembered. This man looks just like him. The man, the man that I killed. It's so Hiyori. What are you talking about? I mean, so. Damn it! Why? How can I forget what he looked like? And just at who in the world is he? Revived? There's still more to Kai's message. I could not solve the riddle concerning him, and there is one more curious aspect. There should have been 20 participants in the death game, but there are not enough files for everyone. My su supposition is that. What? Sound? Right, it's a trade of cards. Er, but this ain't the time for that. Someone who isn't present initiated the trade. Let's check our tablets. Yeah, you guys make sure you check this too. Okay. Let's boot up the tablet. Okay, I'm the key master. Back to the laptop. <gasps> Fuck. Did so do that? Huh? Sacrifice? The third trade has just been performed. There's no mistaking it. Someone traded cars with me. And of all things, they pushed on me the sacrifice. Inconceivable. I mean, I... I'm fighting for everyone's... Ah... Uh, I'm suffocating. Huh? Can't breathe right. What's the matter, Sarah? How does it feel to have my card? I'm down right now. The laptop. No worries. It's not like that card means you definitely die, you know? The laptop. Or he did kill me. Sarah. Calm down. Ah. Uh, I feel a touch on my shoulder. It's warm. But. The hallucination won't go away. I need, I need to trade cards. And I have 50 tokens. Right, I left my wallet at the bedroom. I need to go get it. I already lose on it soon. I'm not caring about anyone watching. I start running. Where's the wallet? 
Here no. we go. Everywhere, but I can't find the wallet. Why? I know I couldn't have lost it. Ah. Don't die. Is there any other way? The room of lies. If I take Reckless tokens, I saw running again. Before they collect the body. For the sake of my future. <gasps> no. This body has been completely cleaned up. You're kidding. Why? No. Now I'm going to. What do I do? Sarah. Saffoline. I just finished cleaning. Of course, I also carefully transported the bodies. This might be my last chance. Hey y'all. Oh my goodness. But, oh. I can't just... It's kind of... Wrong. So, I mean, oh. It's like some game of... Potato, like. I don't want to give it to someone else. That it's all over, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Sarah, are you okay? A kidnapper worrying for me. Ah, uh, uh, Saffling, is it fun toying with us using nonsense like tokens and clear chips? And once we grasp hope, take it away and kill us. How much do you feel about it to be able to do things like this? Well, our lives must be so puny. We die. Can you even collect all the tokens we earned? <laughs> um, Erko didn't have any tokens. Huh? Sorry, I'm busy, so if you'll excuse me. What's going on? Erko didn't have any tokens? That's impossible! Erko should have had her own tokens, right? Or did someone do this to trap me? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> hey there. I'm fun, Sarah. Yeah, you can't muster the energy to think about anything anymore. And I guess you weren't seriously thinking you could escape either, huh? Yes, that's so. Just the hunch I got. You find hope for everyone else, because those without hope die. Is that how you thought? That's. It's wrong, Joe. I was the one who needed hope. As long as I'm looking forward, I can look away from the reality of killing you. The future future waiting once I return. I can only imagine it as pitch black. What the hell, Sarah? You wanted to die that bad? Maybe so. Somewhere in my heart, I... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Joe. Finally. I won't have to run from you anymore. <gasps> Jin! Big is Sarah. Stay with us, Meow. Jin? Big bro Joe isn't here, Meow. Don't give any attention to anything weird, Wolf. Why are you here, Jin? Why am I here? So I can cheer Big Sarah up, obviously. Oh, Jin? Please.
please come back to your senses. Even the real Joe. Please, Big Sister. Even Joe? You're not the only one who can do anything now. Me and all of us. We've regretted all. We've suffered now. And yet, Big Bro Joe put on a smile to the end now. Everybody else who died, they were thinking of the ones who'd be left till the very end, Wolf. So I'm sure what he really wants is for everyone to get home alive. That's why you'll have to believe in the real Joe, Miss Big Sister. The real Joe? Oh no. I feel like I've lost sight of him already. A guy who was always by my side. The courage to face him head on. Can I confront the hallucination? Sarah, you aren't Joe. I need to push aside the evil clutches reaching for me. Hey, yo! This is. Reaching out for me for an emoji. Broken. It's impossible to get rid of me for good. Again, that is. Is this Sarah? Jen. Thank you. I have forgotten something important. You're back to normal? Yeah. Let's all return alive together. I won't let anyone else's lives be lost. I won't let the kidnappers have their way. Yeah. I'm grim with energy. It's more than just my life. To protect everyone, I'll move forward. Fix it, Sarah. Let's go, Wolf. <gasps> oh. It's so cute. Oh my god, I love Regen. For now, where are we headed, Meow? Let's see. Ah, how about we question Melon so the lady about my nice of Meow? We'll make her cry for real with your coerciveness, oof. Come to think of it, didn't Saxon retrieve Real Ranger's body? If she found the ship, we should probably hurry. hurry. Huh? Are we really off to make her cry, Meow? Is this Mia a video? It's familiar. A video from the prize exchange? Ah, this is the victim video that now bought. As I recall, it showed a woman in police uniform tied up with chains. And in front of a man looking on, death trap was activated. From behind, the man looked just like Keiji, but. The business now drop this hole? Why here? <laughs> um hmm. is quietly conversing. Yes, yeah, So really has done a lot to help us escape. Talking about So? Hana. Sarah, are you okay now? Yeah, I just wasn't feeling well earlier. Please sit down, by all means. No, I'm fine. You were sitting here first. 
Then I'll sit on your lap soon. Oh, thanks. Anyway, what's this about So Earlier, I went to return the laptop to So. And it looked like he was making progress on a plan to escape. Is that right? Is what he said before really true? I'm sure So could come with a way for all of us to leave. So, whatever roll card you have, doesn't matter, Sue. Eh? Anna? I think it. I think it's a little obvious we have the sacrifice card to be. Alice is quite a listen to Connor. Such scary eyes, and yet he's talking with Connor. Alice. Sarah Shidon. <laughs> How blue in the face you were when you ran off. You're looking better now. So you were worried for me. Me worried? That's for someone far more gullible, fool. Sarah Chidoan, after you left, we did continue to investigate the laptop. There is no great information. I'm just letting you know. Thank you very much. More importantly, did you take my place as Kana Kizuchi's conversation partner? She's treating me just like a friend. Has she not forgotten I'm a murderer? I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> oh. Smells like a prison, you know. I wonder what kind of smell that is. Yeah, no! Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, what are you doing? Now, yeah. I was just looking for Saturn. Why Saturn? Um, uh, no particular reason. She wasn't here, meow. Hmm, I thought I did see her enter the medical office. Yeah, she has sort of a pleasant scent when mixed with the smell of an art room. Definitely a scent that screams big sis now, meow. You're embarrassing me. Yeah, I smell a weird smell. Wolf. What sort of smell? Meow. Ah. It's like blood mixed with something burnt. What? Are you two okay? I think it's coming from that glass door. Find this door. Ayo. There should be that doll of him. I'll open it up, Wolf. Ah, Jin! There's nothing inside. I see. Hey, hold on. Then where did that doll disappear to? Ah! Makes a serum. There's a path in the back, Wolf. Say what? Maybe Safley is through here. Should we go in now? If you're going, I'll come too. Oi, don't make this my choice. What in the... Yeah, how creepy, wolf. Oh, Don't tell me there's a... Doll? There's even one that looks just like me, wolf. I don't like that. Even the loader gets a doll, you know. Makes me pee for so huh? The person in the photo on the laptop. Alice called him so he already. Just what relation do the two so's have? Next is Sarah, what do you think of the loner? Eh? I don't know, but so wants what he's thinking. I feel there's something deep within him, and I still don't know. Yeah. Let's scribble on the water stone. So 
else and we'll find out, don't touch them. Yeah, you'll live to see another day, Lona. Ooh, feels like they'll start talking to me any second, you know? Mm, I don't think they're going to say anything. Or even dolls of people we never met. Probably those who already made victims. Big sis Sarah, even your doll is pretty. Woof. <laughs> thanks, Jen. Like looking in a mirror, Wolf. Cute. Meow, you can't say that to a boy, Big Sister. Sorry, I meant to say cool. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Making a doll of me without permission is infringing on my likeness, meow. Not oh, like our rights are being respected anyway, Wolf. I smell something further back too, meow. It keeps going? Let's see, search here, I guess. We'll go there. Is that not everything? Ranger's head is sitting on a table. It was here. Eek! This is Ranger's corpse. Let's look for the chip while we can. Yes, wait now, how do you know this? Hey, what's this chip like even? Good, I don't know anything about complex machinery like this. Add. What? Talk to me, all. Jin, don't shout. Hey, now. Who's there? Please leave at once. Zephyrin. Sarah. Melon soda with the lousy taste. What's up with this, wolf? Ah. Uh, so you regain consciousness, stranger. Stop. Why wouldn't you just you let me just die? Yeah, Wolf, you should leave a bad guy like this alone, Wolf. And yeah, don't tell me you want to fix him, Wolf. What? I'm being fixed? There's no fixing you. Oh. Important parts of you have been destroyed. You have about 10 minutes left. Duh. Don't play games with me, bastard. Then, why would you... In order to complete you. Complete? How much do you know about yourself, Ranger? I... That's Masterwork. Real Ranger. That is not your real name. For an incomplete creation. What? Dash, you strongly imbued you with a certain emotion. A certain emotion. Superiority? <laughs> oh yeah, fuck. I mean, strong sense of inferiority, which gave birth to jealousy and hatred. Could be said that it made you more human. He discarded what you originally possessed. Discarded? Kindness, compassion, happiness, nearly all of your positive emotions. Even with the mechanisms to create expressions, you can't create a heartfelt smile. Because he's got no heart. It was originally my job to insert it. Dash, you handed the handled the negative emotions, and myself the positive emotions. Dash, you stopped me. So 
claiming that imperfection was more human. He rearranged you into a warped doll. No way. Now, I will return you your heart. I will perfect you to your true form. Stop it. Zaphlin began working on a machine. Stop it, Zaphlin. Stop it, please. I don't need a heart. Not now. I just need to die. But you... Stop! Stop! Ah. Flowing in. All these unwanted emotions. No, this isn't... Forgive me, just... You must know the extent of what we took from you. I don't want to know that. Now you will be perfected. From the hardest doll rearranger. To the human with the heart. Real laser. Laser? Human? Oh. Wait. Ended. That is pretty cool. Yes, I suppose so. This is just my obligation. Stefan began wrestling around in Laser's head. Is it the chip? Huh? What she just came? Came looking for it, didn't you? If used well. This can nullify security. To do that, you must find a secret room only Gashu knows about. That is all I can say. Now go. Meow, yeah, it smells like a dentist stove. I don't want to come here. Yeah, it's, it's fair. Oh my goodness, um... I hate to head out on a cliff, but I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching, and let me know what, what you thought if you made it this far. <laughs> Thanks.